Good morning, people. Um, it's Wednesday, so that means it's her midweek car boot. Um, today, I'm really looking for a bit more high-end goods, so stuff that I can get a big, chunky profit from. I will pick some other things up, you know, some little bits and bobs, you know, if they sell quite well, but I'm really trying to up my eBay shop, trying to get as many high-end goods as possible. The only trouble, the car boot doesn't look that good today. It's quite quiet there's only about four lines and the skies are very gray so i think it might rain but we never know what's out there so let's get out on that field and see what we can find let's have a look oh predators oh straps just shame nice little boots Incomplete. Shame. How much are your board games? Nothing if we agree, never. All right. Snakes and ladders, Tom and Jim. Incomplete. Quid. Thank you. How much is this? Quid. You can have it. Oh, I right, then. I just see that. Sure. Looks like a power block. How much is it, mate? Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. Is he having these heads or not? These chairs? Uh, two of these, yeah. Yeah, he's having them, yeah. I'll put them to one side for him. Yeah. How much are you? Ten of mine. Yeah. Bring him in the job. All right, mate. Hey, thank you very much. You're going to do this. Yeah, you're going to do it, yeah. Where's... Uh... Two quid, then. John, you know which one? Two quid. Oh. Two quid. Yeah, it's a couple yeah. of quid, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Do I buy toys? I'll, I'll, I'll buy everything, yeah. Yeah, I've got two boxes full there. Yeah. Which, where? That green car. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, mate. Haven't you put them out yet? Nah, mate. No, no. It's all right. No, no. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Anyway, thank for appreciate that. It's more the anything that's got too many pieces. I sort of like go nah. Stuff like that. Yeah. It. I know. You can replace the dices and stuff. Yeah, the dices and the plastic bits. They're like I know roughly how much. It's like the board games and puzzles and that. <laughs> you, you miss a couple of pieces and it's just like. It just, it's worth zilch, yeah. if you know what I mean. A Garfield stick-on one, vintage, 1970s. I haven't got a clue what it's worth because I've always wanted to pick one up. Um, but yeah, that's some money. In here, eight quid. I picked it up because it's a Sony camcorder. And you know me and my camcorders at the moment. I've been on fire with them, so I don't know if it works, but it's got all the charger. Um, batteries and all that lot, so hopefully it works. How much is your Thunderbirds thing? All together, I'll tell you from me mate, and the old scale that kid. All, to, all together, he wants 40 quid for him. Yeah. What about you? Like your player, yeah? It's eight quid, that is. Eight quid. It's a combi one now. Yeah, I know. We take five? Take six. I'll, I'll only pay five for them. I'll pick them up for five quid. It's up to you. It, 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 yeah. Some combi for a fiver. Looking about 40 to 50 quid. How much is this? 35. How much? 35. How much? 30. Oh, 35. Oh, okay. I ain't got a clue about half of it, but I like it. 
My dad was an expert at all this yeah. stuff, yeah. Sadly, he's died now, but he was one of them ones where the new, the new tech came out, he would have to have the surround sound systems oh, and yeah. all that lot, and then it'd be like, wires everywhere, <laughs> you know, in the corner, in the, well, that doesn't sound right, I think it's in the wrong corner. Is it that, is it, is it that one meant to be there? I was like, having all the, it's like 20 speakers, <laughs> and then it's like, film time. It's like, shakes the house and all that, <laughs> yeah. Uh, would you take 15? Go on then. Yeah? It's got to go. Yeah. Yeah, good me keeping it for yeah. forever. Thank you for that though. I love it when somebody's actually honest because well, you could have you could have like, just like myself. I've got a power power bank there so I could go away and test it. Oh, have you? <laughs> you could charge for that. People oh, no. I know, I know some car boots that charge like 50. Yeah, the thing is if someone plugs something that's got a bad fault on it and it blows me <laughs> unit. <laughs> Our boot is finished. I've got football in an hour, so after football, I'll show you what I've got. Before I go and play football, I just want to mention something. Didn't get it on camera because I wasn't going to get it on camera because I told you I've squashed it all. Chris was here, one of the ones I mentioned on my video. We had a discussion. It got a bit heated, um, but I've told you, that's it. He said he had never said anything. So Chris and your wife, I'm giving you the benefit of doubt, okay? That is it. Next time I do see you, I will say hello. Okay, so it is finished now. But if some of them want to carry on playing games and saying stuff behind my back, then fair enough. For instance, setting up fake YouTube accounts and then commenting, pretending it's my mum. I had people slag me off because I live with my mum. I live with my mum because I love my mum, right? right? And she's done everything for me. Right? She helps me out a hell of a lot when I'm going around the car boots looking after my son and she helps me out with my work as well, you know, doing the, the finance part and everything like that because she's really good at that. So when somebody mentions my mom, then it's not good. That's the end of that. I'm not going to talk about anything to do with that situation ever again. Um, so yeah, I'll see you after to show you what I've got. Football done and i got to say, I played at absolute blind today i was like messy i was just i was on point today anyway got back into the car to go back home and i had a sale as you can see it's all boxed up i am now at pass four so i'm just going to drop it off i just had a banger of a sale and sold a retro tv from 1980s for 160 quid what a sale not only because of the price, but I got this for absolutely free. It's going to somewhere in Ireland to a television company who produce the Derry Girls. Um, so I've messaged them saying, are you going to use this for a TV program or something? So I'll let you know if that get any reply back from that. But yeah, going to drop this off. Then on the way back home, there's a charity shop. So I'm going to pop in there. You never know might find something and then i'll show you what i picked up at the car boot today anything decent george we case swiss remember them i had a pair of these back in the day they're not bad looking trainers to be fair but absolutely worthless if you like your women's shoes though i got plenty here bargain 40 quid they only go for 55 quid so not a bargain so we're in the next charity shop and came across this. This is nice. Five quid. Absolute bargain. But that's the sustain. That is rust, probably. On a white top as well. Maybe it could not come out. So we're back home now and yeah, football was good. I played really good. And I'm going to be playing on Telfy Night football ground on the pitch. Uh, a load of us are getting together with the Telfy United um, staff members and maybe some of the players, we don't know. But you might be wondering, what is that? Well, I picked it from a shop. It was on discount. Um, and they go for around about 65 quidish. Um, um, I'm just doing a bit of a sample. If it sells in the next week, I'll get the other ones because there's some more there. So... It's a bit of a sample. I did pick up one for myself, a different sort of one. They've got different variations. It's from members only and it's um, 
the artist K Hanning, is it? I think it is. Um, yeah, pretty cool, isn't it? Well, let's run through the things we got. You didn't really see what was in this bag, so I'll show you that at the end. But there's my new printer from Munbrin. Um, I have got my other one for sale. If anybody wants it, it's £50. It's exactly the same as that, but not Wi-Fi compatible. Um, you have to use a USB for your laptop and PC. But it does work on mobiles like Wi-Fi, so you can do it that way. But first of all, we're going to look at this. This is a Sharp View Cam. It's got one battery missing. It comes with two batteries, but one's in there and one's missing. So I won't be able to test this. But I did pick up something very similar last week. So I don't know if the battery might fit that. If not... I should get anything up to about 15 quid for the actual unit. The one battery inside, I could sell that for probably a tenner as well because brand new ones go for 16 quid. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the battery, um, sell the battery separate because somebody might need a battery and I'll sell that separate as well and just as untested. I paid three quid. It was a bit of a risk. I was hope I didn't even check up the price. I just thought, well... It might be worth a little bit. Um, it's got to be worth more than three quid in spares and repairs, so it was. So if the battery in there fits in here and it all works, uh, there is no sold, but you're probably looking around the 50, 60 quid area. Underneath is this Airfix traffic control like game. It's just a vintage game. It's from the 1970s. It's all there. It's all complete. And you're looking around about the 24 quid. I paid one pound for this. Something I've been wanting to pick up for a while, and it's a vintage Garfield. What you stick on your car windows. Look at the date of it as well, 1978. When I saw this, I went, yes, I'm in the money now. I'm gonna make some big money. But they don't make that much. Well, they do, if you think about it, it's a plush. You're looking at around 25 to 30 quid for that. All the other ones that I've seen for solds have him like with a cheesy grin. This has got his moody face. So I might be able to definitely get about 30 quid for that because it might be a bit rarer. But what a find. That is like a reseller find. One pound as well for that. Absolutely smashing find. The next item is the Frustration Popomatic. I haven't had this one. This is from the 1970s, 80s area and you're looking around the 14 to 20 pound mark obviously on condition this one seems to fetch around the 15 quid so i paid one quid the next item i picked up is something i've never picked up before this is obviously a patchy helicopter made by hm armed forces i picked this up for four quid and it's worth about 25 quid if i had the little man the pilot you're looking double now onto some tech Straight away, if I picked up this box, this suitcase, you're looking about 15 quid all day long. It's a padded, you know, secure suitcase for cameras and all that. So you're looking at 15 quid, maybe 20 quid, maybe more. I can't find any of the sales for that. But in this box, you have got a Sony Video Walkman. So, you record your stuff on there, which is your little handy cam thing. Then, you put your tape in there. This lifts up, and you watch it. There's the battery pack, and there's a battery in there as well, with all the cables. You've got the instructions, obviously, you got the, the case. He did say, though, the screen does not work. He says you can convert it and watch it to something else, but... You can't watch it on this little camera. So I've checked out prices for these. I don't know if I'm going to separate it or sell it all as one because I could sell that separately. I could sell that separately and I could sell the charger and the battery separately, you know, and I could sell the case separately. I could probably get more money that way, but that obviously means more time and I can't be bothered to separate them just for a couple of extra quid. This alone sells for around 50 quid in parts so i know 
I'm getting 50 quid for that all day long, straight away. Battery pack and batteries, you're probably looking at about 20 quid. You're probably looking around the 40, 50 pound mark for that. There is somebody trying to sell exactly the same one as this for a hundred pound. Uh, he hasn't obviously sold it yet, but spares and repairs on this stuff. Like I said, 50 quid for that. I, could, I, I might put this on just for around about 70 quid and let it sell quickly. Underneath is another combo VHS DVD player. And guess what? This will go to the pile with all the rest when I can get around to doing them. I pay five pound for this. You're looking all day long, 40 to 50 pound. If I had the instructions and the remote, you could sell these for 70 quid. And people just walk past them at car boots day in, day out. So I paid eight pound for this. Um, if it doesn't work, parts are going for around about 50 quid. The battery seems to go for around 20 quid. So I could split it up, um, but I'm probably just sell it all as one um, because I might sell it as untested if it doesn't work, if the batteries don't work or something like that. But if it does work, it I, I, there is no sales of this particular one. So I'm probably thinking it must be at least 80 to 100 maybe. I don't know, maybe more. Uh, there's so many different variations. Some are obviously better than this one, some are worse, but yeah. I'm gonna get my money back. I'm gonna, well, quadruple my money. Uh, so yeah, and that's with it being broken. So absolutely another great find. On tech-wise today, I've smashed it. That's gonna make me a nice profit. That's gonna make me a nice profit. If I can get another battery, that could make me a nice profit. Garfield's nice profit. That's a nice profit. Every single item I've got, I'm gonna be making a nice little profit. So today I only spent 28 quid. If all the stuff works or doesn't work, I should make over 300 quid easily in profit. So it's well worth picking up tech. It's risky, right? Some people stay away from it because obviously they don't know nothing about it. I don't know nothing about it. You don't need to be an expert to pick up some tech. What I always would suggest is look at solds on broken stuff. And then you know how much it's worth broken. Obviously, if it's like selling for five quid, but you can get 50 quid for it in broken parts, you're onto a winner. And then if it does work, you're onto some big money. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, obviously hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I probably will see you with another car boot tomorrow because on Thursday, there is a car boot as well. So. I might as well go to that one. See you again. Bye-bye.